Hey, what is going on guys, Extra Fusion here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions review of Tog the Toten, the brand new DLC for Zombies map for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This is of course first impressions, meaning there could be a lot more that's solved in this map. There are still solving stuff as we speak. There are likely more Easter eggs. There might be even more weapons or equipment that we don't know of yet. There could be more cutscenes. There could be a whole other Easter egg quest. We don't know. They're, you know, searching stuff. I think after like a week or two is when you can say, all right, we probably found just about like 90 plus percent of what this map has to offer. Um, but in terms of like the day after, no, there's definitely more and there's definitely more they're going to be finding out. But this is like a first impressions review and I have not done everything the map has to offer. I have not done the Easter egg myself. I will be doing it eventually, of course, but um, I have watched the Easter egg. I, I know the steps and I know the overall process of it. I know whether or not it's, you know, Enjoy. I don't know from my own personal experience if it's going to be enjoyable to do, but it was enjoyable to watch and it seemed like it was enjoyable for others. And of course, I've seen the cutscene and all that good stuff in the boss fight, which wasn't really a boss fight, but let, let's get into this first impressions review, of course. So I think I want to start off with the pros and then we'll go into the cons. I like to split up reviews like that. You start with the good stuff, you start with, the, and then you end with the bad stuff. It kind of fits together nicely rather than going in different categories and talking about it. Just talking about everything that's good and then everything that's bad. So first of all, everything that's good. The map is beautiful. I can't, you know, deny that this map looks absolutely gorgeous. And people like to say, oh, Black Ops 4 looks like shit. I don't know what they're talking about, man. Yeah, it might not be the same caliber as what Black Ops 3 was. But honestly, I think the HUD is a big, you know, factor in that. And I think the art style is a little bit different than what Black Ops 3 was. But it doesn't make the graphics worse. I think they still look just fine. It looks pretty nice, in my opinion, especially the sunset. It's, it, it's a beautiful looking map, I gotta say. The map design and layout I think is pretty good. I haven't had a problem with that. It's pretty easy to get Pack-a-Punch. Uh, the Wonder Weapons are in the box as well as through a side quest, which is a good thing in my opinion because you can get them from two different ways rather than just being in the box or just being available through a side quest. This this way it pleases both types of fans. Story-wise, this map is almost perfect in my opinion. I loved every second of it. I've been watching a lot of Rad Austin's stream and he's been loving the story in this map as well. I love the ending. I don't know why people are so against it. I mean, I think the people who don't like the ending are mainly the people who don't really care about the story, and they just wanted to see something epic, like Avengers Endgame-esque, like Richtofen and, and the group fighting side by side against zombies and all this crazy shit going down, and, and then someone, you know, killing Dr. Monty. Like, they wanted that. They wanted that sort of epicness, and would I have minded that? I would love that. But you have to be realistic. You have to take into account what matters for the story and also what's possible on this engine. They have limitations on this engine. They can't do something crazy like that with this engine. You, you just you can't really expect that, especially with the limited budget and limited time that they've had. Like my, I have some you know cons about this map that I wanted to go over, but a lot of it has to do with the fact that they just had a limited budget and limited time to develop this map because of COD 2020 and the fact that they were shafted Treyarch was basically shafted and forced to work on their next game a whole year earlier than expected and they're expected to put together this you know brand new black ops title in that quick of a time it's unrealistic for us to think we're going to get that much out of this map in terms of like some crazy great war-esque map which fighting the great war and fighting dr mani actually story-wise wouldn't really make sense i think what happened made the most sense that's what it seems like. Yeah, yeah, it would have been fun to fight Dr. Monty for sure, but do we really need that? No. And like I said, there's still more to this map, and they obviously couldn't get Malcolm McDowell back to voice Dr. Monty. So, I mean, if you guys were, you know, upset to not hear his voice, I mean, that's kind of why we didn't get to hear his voice. Um, what other pros do we got? The, 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 oh my god, the Samantha's box, that new equipment. First of all, it's a pretty easy process to get it. It's not that hard to get it. But it is awesome. One of the coolest equipment, I think, in Call of Duty Zombies history. It might be my favorite. I mean, I don't know about in terms of effectiveness. It's probably not the best. But in terms of just the look of it, the sound of it, the design, how you use it, it's awesome. Awesome. I, I love it. Love every second of it. Uh, I love the new locations that they added, like the facility, the 935 facility that you can go to. Which, of course, has the test subjects in there, the ultimate test subjects, as well as there's jail cells, which you can see the writings on the wall. And the lore behind this map is great. I love all of it. I love everything they did with the Mexican test subject and all that good stuff. And yeah, Pablo. It's, it's great. I like that. And I know people don't really care about the story as much as gameplay. And I know gameplay is more important. But gameplay 
is not going to automatically be some revolutionary thing on one zombie's map. If the game has mechanics that are already preset, don't expect it to play that much different than other maps in the game. But I've been having a blast with the gameplay regardless. I think it's actually very fun to train around on this map. I think the wonder weapons are fun to use. I think the equipment's fun to use. I think the map, you know, favors a lot of different play styles. You can camp in some locations, surprisingly. You can, I, I just, I, one thing I do hate right now is the goddamn, the, the, the sprinting zombies. I don't know why they have sprinting zombies on this map, but it's driving me nuts. I love the fun little uh, challenge podiums you can do. You can complete them and then you get rewarded for different, I, I love that a lot. I think that adds some fun to the map. I just wish the rewards may be a little bit better. I haven't done all of them though. I don't know exactly what kind of amazing rewards you get. I know you can get free perk doing some specific challenge when you collect all the toys behind the Pack-a-Punch machines. That's cool. I love the new location that you can go to. The Golden Pack-a-Punch machine is, is a really cool concept, and it's it's fun and enjoyable going to there. I like how the zip lines get you around the map nice and quick. Um, that's about the extent of the, the positives. Now, I think we should hop into the, the negatives, because there's definitely a decent amount. Um, I'm not mad about having a remake. I, I've made this clear. I mean, it made sense for the story to come back here. It did, and it made sense for, you know, b budget-wise and all that. It, it did, and I understood it. It's not lazy. It's not, you know, oh, Treyarch's lazy. No, it's not that. But I don't know why they returned the Thundergun and the Vundavaf into two really weak versions of themselves. I mean, the, the new Tundra Gun, the, the, the Snow Thunder Gun, it's not very good. I mean, first of all, it deals self-inflicted damage, which is really frustrating like come on the original thunder gun didn't do that and now we got this thunder gun that can't even get you out of corners because it'll kill you if you shoot it too close to a zombie i don't like that gun at all i'm gonna be honest with you and the new wonder Buff is not very good either i mean they're fun to use they're really cool designs but they're just not good and i, I need fun wonder weapons that are good as well it's not enjoyable when you're using some one weapon that's just absolutely trash so i think they need a buff or something like that because right now they're just not good at all in really many ways shape or forms the easter egg quest i i do wish was more you know i, I really wish we get to play as ultimus and premise it's their final map why why wouldn't we that's something that's gonna you know stick in the back of my mind for a while i understood the story and why it needed to be this way but you could have found some sort of a way you could have changed around the story and you could have made it so we would play as U premise and ultimus in some way or at least one of the those two crews I mean, it's their final map. You can't tell me that they're just going to allow it to be like that. I, I, I just, it just seems like, I don't know. And I understand why they didn't want it to be a 12-person map. That would be way too much writing for them to do. They got to do all the quotes and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be crazy. But you can at least let us play as them in some way, shape, or form. Maybe even just don't give them quotes. I really don't care. <laughs> but it's just, it's their final map, man. I don't know. It, to me, it just seems like... We could have just had fun with Victus and DLC 5, which I'm sure we still will, but do we really need to play them as this map? I mean, they could have made change around the story, so premise are the characters that go here to do all this rather than Victus, and they could have had Victus do something else. I don't know, but um, that's about the extent. The soundtrack, I don't hate the soundtrack. It's not really the biggest con in the world, but it's definitely not as epic and, and, and emotional as I was hoping. Some of the soundtrack pieces during the Easter Egg are beautiful. The soundtrack during the cutscene is amazing. Um, the Easter Egg song, I like it a lot, but I do wish we had an actual song with lyrics as well as the one that we have. Because the one we have is great, don't get me wrong. Kevin Sherwood did an amazing job with that song. But it's not like, I wanted to let a segment, you know, like a, a fitting final song for zombies. But we did get some sort of a tune that wasn't really a song, like a lyrical song. Uh, but it was still really good. I, I can't deny that. And there's that other song that plays during the Golden Pack-a-Punch sequence, which you could also play that song when you hold X three times on the original door and the loop bottom of the lighthouse. Now, they're not really the best songs in the world, but or th that specific one isn't, but it, it's still fun to listen to, I guess. But in terms of like the soundtrack just behind the scenes, like when you're just moving around the map and stuff like that, like all the maps tend to have some really epic pieces that go on while you're playing through the map. But I don't know, I haven't really loved the soundtrack. I don't really love the round change music either. It's not all that great. It doesn't feel like a final map. And that's, I think, the biggest takeaway I can take of at this map. It's a great map, I think. But it's not. it doesn't seem like a great final map. In terms of story, I think it is. I think it definitely puts a bow on everything and it definitely wraps it up nicely. But in terms of gameplay, it just doesn't feel like a final map. And I think that all comes down to the limitations that they had and the fact that 
you know, they have to work on this next game. And I really, that's why I said a million times, and everyone disagreed with me, and I don't understand why people disagree with me, but they should have held off the ending for the next Black Ops. Once they heard that they have to work on the next game this early, they should have said, all right, we're going to just take a chill pill with this game. Maybe we'll just, you know, we'll just finish off Chaos in this game, and we'll be like, all right, boys, I know you wanted more ether, but you're going to have to wait till our next game. We're going to do some bigger stuff with it in that one, though. Or just give us a few filler maps. I really don't care if you give us filler maps as long as it didn't end the story. And then you're like, okay, now we are we are getting into the ending in this next game. It's going to have you a full-on finale. We're going to have like five or six maps. And we're going to somehow extend the story for the last few maps and, and make it so it actually works. And it would be on a next-gen game on the new engine that Modern Warfare is using. So there wouldn't be any limitations. They would have a lot more time to work on them. You know, we wouldn't have the mechanics that people don't like from Black Ops 4. It would be a brand new game, and that would be a fitting ending for the story. Because when you end on a low point, people are going to be disappointed. You can't do that. I know they did everything they could, and they did what they... But you, you need to end it in a big way. You know what I mean? You can't just end it in a slight sort of a... I don't know. But they made it clear this is the ending. There's no way they're going to just continue it in the next game somehow. Um, but I do expect some sort of a reboot of some sort, or maybe a story within the same universe that will be, maybe in the Dark Ether, maybe they'll do a story, but at the same time, I don't know if they would want to connect this story to anything else. It doesn't sound like they're going to do Chaos just based on the community feedback, which I think Chaos is great, but I feel like people just don't like Chaos because it's different, and that's the problem. If they do anything different, they're not going to like it as much as the original story. That's just the end of the day. Even if it's a reboot with the same characters, it doesn't matter. People are going to be like, this isn't the Ether, this isn't what I want. And we're going to be like, all right, well, they have to end the story sometime, you know, you can't just expand it on for too long. So, I don't know, man, I, just, I, I, I do wish in the back of my head, though, that we got, like, a full-on ending. And, yeah, we don't need to fight the Great War for the final map. That isn't necessary. That doesn't make sense for the story. But I still do want a Great War map. I'm going to be honest with you. I still think that would be cool. Yeah, Revelations was technically Great War, but I'm talking about the Great War, the one that, like... They, they fought within after the revelations one they were in the robes and using the stats and stuff like that 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 sort of a, a deal the one that was after uh, revelations i don't know and it could be interesting because we could see how revelations ricked off and maybe got to blood of the dead we can see how that all went down maybe there's something that happened and we can play that maybe in the future i don't know because you know they did end the ether story here but who says they can't continue stories or, or tell stories that were like before the ending like prequel stories of some sort i don't know they can really do whatever the hell they want it's a whole multiverse but they did destroy the multiverse but like i said it would be taking place beforehand so it really wouldn't affect the ending of the story at all because they killed the multiverse it's gone so that's just kind of how i see it and um i'm excited for the future i really really am but i'm also kind of like man i would really 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 like it for, to have some sort of a better sort of a closing map even though i think it's cool i think the story is great but honestly i think i might like alpha omega a little bit more in terms of like gameplay right now and in terms of the, the quest and the wonder weapons and and the atmosphere i alpha omega is, is a really fun map in my opinion one of my favorites of all time but i i just don't know if this one like i said there's more to uncover just as of what we see right now i am a little underwhelmed i think it could have been cooler i think it could have been better and I understand why, though. I'm not going to sit here and yell at Treyarch, call them lazy, call them stupid. You know, that's, that's ridiculous. That's something that a child does. I'm going to sit here and be like, all right, you guys, you could have done better, but it was a great map. It was a great 11-year journey, and I had a great time, and I can't wait to see what they have in store in the future because I'm not leaving zombies. No, I'm, some people are. Some people are like, oh, the ether is done. I'm done. But that's not me, man. I'm excited for the future of COD. I'm excited for the future of COD Zombies. I know they're going to continue it. There's no way in hell they're just going to drop zombies. That would be so stupid if they decided to do that. But there's a lot more to store. And I'm just, I can't wait to see what's up. I can't wait to see what happens with DLC 5, if it even comes down. I'm really hoping it does, though. And yeah, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Let me know what you think about the map in the comment section below. Overall, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 right now. Maybe like an 8 out of 10. Um, but, you know, in comparison to, like, an Origins 9.9 .9 out of 10, you know, it's not as big as something like that. I might like it more than Revelations, though, which is definitely a, a good thing to say. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.